So the theme of this episode is just start. Just start to do something. Don't be worried about too much about being perfect. Imperfect action is better than no action at all. I remember back in 2017, I was going over to Birmingham to this big expo on fitness and different things like that. And it was one of those things where, as a personal trainer, I was getting overwhelmed with so much stuff online and looking for that extra bit of inspiration and motivation and all the rest. And so I thought this expo was going to provide it for me. But I, I went over to it. And long story short, it was just this big plug to sell protein supplements and all these supplements getting shot up. It was at least 50% of the expo was just all on nutrition supplements and, and for a lot of people there because it was a very very big expo it was a very popular expo and a lot of people seemed to get you know get a lot of out of that but as, as a fitness professional i was looking for something else that i didn't quite get so i was fairly annoyed with it and i remember i'd spent the whole day in birmingham and by two o'clock i was like you know what I, I can't deal with this anymore i was there four or five hours and i was just i was just aimlessly walking around and i was trying to get my money's worth by keep walking around the expo to, just to hopefully something catch my eye just a bit of inspiration so i could take it back home to, to, to dublin and be like you know what it was worth it for that and then i realized four hours it was like you know what you're just wasting your time so i ended up back in the airport waiting another five hours before my flight and i was, I was like ah i'll go into the bookshop i'll try and pick up something and when i was in the bookshop i seen tim ferris's two of titans i was like that looks like an interesting read and i read it back and there's a lot of people that, that, that i knew and that that would be inspiring to me so for those of you that don't know tim ferris is he's a world famous podcast interviewer and he interviews all these these famous people to find out their, their habits their routines from world class athletes to billionaires and all the rest and the book is split up into healthy wealthy and wise three different parts of the book and it basically he, he separates all his he note takes from all his different interviewers and puts it into, into these categories and the four is written by arnold schwarzenegger so that hooked me straight away i'm like I may as well give this a read so I got the book and not being very healthy so I had a couple of points reading the book and I was like whoa instantly start take, taking notes I was like straight away I got more value out of this book than I'd gotten from the the expo that afternoon and one of the things that I got from it was to learn just to start so it's basically the complete opposite to what I was doing at the time going to this expo which was waiting on inspiration and waiting to start on something big instead of what this book was telling me, what certain people in this book were telling me to do was just don't wait in that inspiration. Don't be afraid to start small. And it's like that famous Nelson Mandela quote, it always seems impossible until it's done. And it's the same if you're know if you went, if you're doing assignments, if you've got a big project in hand, you can just sit there aimlessly looking at the screen going, you know, waiting for that moment of inspiration to come to you when what you really should be doing is just start typing, just put something down on paper and eventually ideas will start to form once your brain starts getting into the assignment, the task at hand, rather than just sitting there waiting for that moment of inspiration, waiting for something to happen. Because if you just sit there, nothing is gonna happen. You gotta take action to make something happen. So it may be complete crap what you're writing down, but true that you'll, you'll be able to formulate your ideas, true looking at what you're writing down, go, you know what, maybe I need to change this for this. And you start thinking about the project as well as actually taking action rather than sitting back and doing nothing and it's the exact same when it comes to your fitness to your training you may want to do you know at, um, run a 5k in a certain amount of time or do your first marathon and have all these massive tasks all at once and it can seem very daunting to take on those tasks if you haven't got a program set out and even setting out the perfect program so includes absolutely everything and then you're like this takes a lot of time you get overwhelmed and you end up not doing it whereas you should just start small do something and you know in the book they talk about i think it's automatic founder and wordpress lead developer matt mullenweg says he just did one push-up before bed which sounds like that's not going to get locked on but you, you could definitely do that one push-up that's that's no problem that's easy to put into your habits rather than doing a whole hour of a, of a workout if you haven't got that habit established already and he says no matter how late you're running no matter what's going on in the world you can't argue against doing one push-up so start small there's nothing wrong with starting with just one push-up and slowly adding a building to that instead of having this massive plan and not doing any action on that plan at all so start small do a 5 10 15 minute workout whatever you can comfortably fit in if you've only got 30 minutes in your work in your day to do a workout 
put get a 20 minute workout in give yourself that 10 minute breathing room so you're like oh i could definitely get 20 minutes a 10 minute break before moving on to something else especially now during this quarantine you're like oh i've got all day to do this like, no set aside 20 minutes pick a time stick to it start small get a, a, a basic workout program you know you can do that's not too challenging for your first session and then slowly build on that from there and it's like oh if i did this but you know ages ago i'd be a lot more fitter and stuff like that now and that could put you off doing things but it's like that old chinese proverb the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago the second best time to plant a tree is now get it done now start small slowly build your way up and that's pretty much what this video is all about i've been looking at a blank screen and going when am i gonna start doing these videos the program you're looking at right now i've had this for two three weeks and i'm like when am i gonna start using this on my youtube videos i need to start doing this and a blank sheet for ages i'm like look what i learned a couple of years ago i need to just start now and there is that in the back of my mind going had i started this five six ten years ago on youtube it could be a lot bigger than it is right now but when's the best time to start something that 20 years ago when's the second best time now and that's why you're seeing this video on the youtube page as i slowly start to try and build up what i'm doing anyway i hope you guys got something of value from this this video hopefully you don't click on the next youtube video and instead whatever you've been meaning to do you start doing right now now that wasn't a hard video to get through now was it i hope you guys got some value out of the video if you did please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the coach Scott channel which is somewhere here and um, hit that button subscribe to the coach Scott channel leave a thumbs up there should be a couple of other videos around here for you guys to check out and that's all from me for coach Sean. take care